As you can guess, uh, one of my favorite songs ever of all time is Crimson and Clover by the Shondells. I don't like any of the knockoffs. And I have to say, it it reminds me of uh, opiates and, and heroin. Um, and again, as I say, the only the only place where I get that, you know, you take opiates, get feel really warm, the self dissolves, you get really spiritual and very contem contemplative. And the only thing I can compare that to is um, going from uh, going into mountains into all the way through into the divine liturgy. Now. Uh, opiates are the greatest thing in the world. They are sent from God and they have, have allowed modern medicine to take root and allowed uh, humans to perform surgery and relieved immense amount of pain. They are beautiful and they are awesome. I acted foolishly and stupidly by uh, taking them uh, in an improper way and it's the shortcut. It is sin for me to take those uh, because it's a shortcut to what I could get by going to the Orthodox Church and seeking more warmth and beauty there. Now I am not some Augustine-like character that says, "Oh, it's bad," you know, who, who, who just indulges in sex and drunkenness and then says, "All right, no sex for anybody, no alcohol for anybody," you know, like that A crap. I don't buy into A at all or NA, as it is A is more for alcoholics, NA is narcotics anonymous. Uh, although they do cross over. Now, there are people who are addicted to opiates for very good reasons, the sick and the dying. And uh, their addiction shouldn't be considered anything as a weakness. It's something they actually need. And there are many people who are addicted to opiates till their last day because they have cancer or some horrible illness. And hopefully the doctor is merciful enough to give them a lethal shot of morphine and not let them just suffer in, in, in just blind agony and, and shivering and shaking just, you know, so they can live, you know, a few more days in, in, in horrorous hell of torture, pain. Uh, so I don't think it's wrong for everyone to be addicted to that because there are some absolutely necessary and good reasons. And I would even say godly reasons should be there we should be merciful with these things but my usage of them recreational usage of them is bad i i can't speak to say it's it's all sinful all recreational use of that is sinful because uh, where where is that ever said that you can't take pleasure in things me using them yeah because i use them as a drug and i get addicted no thank god for uh, a loving family and Sabax and, and me finally waking up and be saying, you know, I don't want a part of this. And Sabax is totally different from other opiates because you don't get the high feeling. You you do get it maybe when you first started or if you go off for a while and come back on, you get the feeling, but it's not, it, you're not drooling at the mouth, uh, you know, falling over in a ditch. Uh, it's kind of funny. In the things that influence who I am now are basically the former communist connections, orthodoxy, and heroin. And I know that that's a that that's a real wicked connection, but it's it's part of me. And I love the Shondells. I love Crimson and Clover, one of my favorite songs. And uh, I'm gonna try to make it so it reminds me of orthodoxy. Now the song's about a girl, about him thinking about a girl. Uh, but just the tones and everything, it just reminds me of an opiate. Very strange. I just made this video kind of a, a rambling video. Peace to all of you, and if you're suffering with an addiction, uh, feel free to write me at any time, and please get help. I don't mean to glorify drugs in this video, and I can I don't think I did. Peace. Shond Check out the Shondells. Check out Crimson and Clover.